Hey guys, welcome back to Market Design. Today, let's learn how to simulate four bar trusses. This problem deals with trusses. It is a four bar figure. Two bars on the left hand side has a fixed point. On the right hand side, it has a roller support in the bottom which can move only in the x-axis not in the y-axis. The fourth point has a force on it which is 25,000 newtons. The distance on the x and y-axis to the fourth point is respectively 40 and 30 meters. Young's modulus is 29.5 into 10 power 6 newton per meter square. The area of the element is 1 meter square. Let's solve the deformation, maximum stress and reaction force in the truss system. Go to file, clear, do not read file, ok, click on yes, now let's start the process, preferences, structure, ok, let's go to preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, click on add, go to link, 3D, ok, close, let's go to, let's see the diagram, ok, that's the one, real constant, add, let's add, done, the area, area is nothing but 1 meter square, let's type in 1 ok close let's go to material properties material modes structure linear elastic isentropic the Young's modulus is nothing but 29.5 to 10 power 6 that's 29.5 e to the power of 9 or 6 sorry 29.5 e to the power of 6 and Poisson's ratio is 0.3 close Let's go to model create nodes in active CS. First node, that's the base point. So it's zero everywhere. That's the origin. Let's apply. Go to the second node. Second node is the right hand side part. That's at a distance of 40 meters from on the x axis. Apply. Third node, that is. A distance of 40 from x and 30 from y click on apply now the next node would be the fourth node distance of 30 from the origin zero okay once this is done let's join the lines so let's go to nodes elements auto numbering through nodes one to two okay 2 to 3 ok 1 to 3 ok 3 to 4 yeah hold on modeling is done let's go to loads define loads apply structure displacement Those are the fixed points. Let's go to non nodes, fix them. All DOF. The last node has a roller support, so it's not all DOF. You can move in the x direction, but not in the y direction. So let's click on OK. Constraint is y direction, you can move in the x direction. OK. The force is acting downwards at node 3 so we'll click over there click on ok the force is 25,000 in the y direction so minus 25,000 as it is going downwards done let's maximize it let's go to solution sol current ls sol now let's go to general post processing Plot result, contour plot. Or before that, let's go to element table, define table, add it. Let's go to the last one by sequence number ls at ls1. Okay, close. Let's go to plot result, contour plot, nodal solution, DOF solution, y displacement vector sum. We got it. So the displacement is 0.0114. Let's go to element table, yes average, okay, 
minus 5469 2083 those are the stresses let's go to list result reaction solution okay that is the reaction solution for fx fy and fz thanks for watching guys we'll be back soon